Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely is a popular psychology book that explores the ways in which people's decisions and behaviors are influenced by irrational and emotional factors. Ariely argues that many of our choices are not rational or logical, but are instead shaped by psychological biases and social norms. The book is divided into several chapters, each of which focuses on a different aspect of irrational behavior. Some of the topics covered include the power of social norms, the influence of emotions on decision-making, and the ways in which we make decisions based on relative comparisons rather than absolute values. Aureli presents a range of experiments and studies to illustrate his points, and he uses these examples to demonstrate how our irrational tendencies can be exploited by marketers, politicians, and other groups seeking to influence our behavior. He also offers some suggestions for how we can recognize and overcome our own irrational biases, and make better decisions in our personal and professional lives. There are several key ideas from Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely that we can apply in real life. Here are a few examples. 1. Recognize the influence of social norms. Recognize the influence of social norms is a key theme in the book. Ariely argues that people are often influenced by what they perceive to be social norms, or the behaviors and attitudes that are considered typical or expected in a given situation. This can lead us to make decisions based on what we think others are doing or what we believe is expected of us, rather than what we truly want or need. To illustrate this point, Aureli presents several experiments and studies. In one study, participants were asked to rate the taste of a beverage that had been spiked with vinegar. When they were told that others had rated the drink favorably, they were more likely to rate it positively themselves, even though they did not actually enjoy the taste. This demonstrates how social norms can influence our perceptions and behavior, even when we are aware of them. Aureli also discusses the ways in which social norms can be exploited by marketers, politicians, and other groups seeking to influence our behavior. For example, restaurants may list certain dishes as most popular to encourage customers to order them, or political campaigns may use social proof tactics to persuade voters to support a particular candidate. To counteract the influence of social norms, Aureli suggests that we need to become more aware of our own values and goals. By taking a step back and considering what is truly important to us, we can make decisions that align with our own interests, rather than simply following the crowd. Aureli also recommends that we seek out diverse sources of information and opinions, rather than relying solely on what we perceive to be the norm. This can help us to make more informed decisions and avoid being swayed by social pressure. 2. Avoid the anchor effect. The anchor effect is discussed as a common cognitive bias that can influence our decision making. The anchor effect refers to the tendency to rely too heavily on the first piece of information we receive when making a decision, even if it is irrelevant or arbitrary. For example, if we are presented with a high price for a product, we may perceive a similar product with a lower price as a good deal, even if the lower price is still overpriced. To illustrate the anchor effect, Aureli presents several experiments. In one study, participants were asked to estimate the percentage of African countries that were members of the United Nations. Before making their estimate, they were asked to spin a wheel of fortune with numbers ranging from 0 to 100. The number they landed on was used as an anchor for their estimate. Participants who landed on a higher number tended to give higher estimates, even though the number they landed on was completely random and unrelated to the actual percentage. Aureli also discusses the ways in which the anchor effect can be exploited by marketers and salespeople. For example, a store may list a high price for a product that they have no intention of selling, in order to make a slightly lower price seem like a good deal. This is a common tactic in sales, and it works because of the power of the anchor effect. To avoid being swayed by the anchor effect, Aureli recommends that we gather information from multiple sources before making a decision. This can help us to establish a more accurate baseline for comparison, rather than relying solely on the first piece of information we receive. He also suggests that we be aware of our own cognitive biases, and actively work to overcome them. 3. Be aware of our emotional biases. The author discusses the concept of emotional biases and how they can influence our decision-making. Emotional biases are cognitive biases that arise from our emotions, such as fear, anger, or excitement, and can affect our perception of reality and our ability to make rational decisions. Aureli argues that emotions can often cloud our judgment and lead us to make decisions that are not in our best interest. For example, 
we may be tempted to buy a luxury car that we cannot afford because it makes us feel successful and important, even though it is not a wise financial decision. To illustrate the impact of emotional biases, Aureli presents several experiments. In one study, participants were asked to bid on a range of items, including a coffee mug, a wireless keyboard, and a box of chocolates. Before making their bid, they were shown a brief video clip that induced either a positive emotion, amusement, or a negative emotion, disgust. The participants who had watched the amusing clip tended to bid more on the items, while those who had watched the disgusting clip tended to bid less. Aureli also discusses how emotional biases can be exploited by marketers and advertisers. For example, they may use fear tactics to persuade people to buy insurance or other products, or use images of happy and attractive people to sell products that have nothing to do with happiness or attractiveness. To avoid being swayed by emotional biases, Aureli suggests that we take a step back and objectively evaluate our decisions. This may involve asking ourselves why we are making a particular decision and whether it aligns with our long-term goals. It may also involve seeking out objective information and opinions, rather than relying solely on our emotions. 4. Understand the power of framing. The author discusses the concept of framing and how it can influence our decision-making. Framing refers to the way in which information is presented to us, and can significantly impact how we perceive and respond to that information. Aureli argues that framing can be a powerful tool for persuasion, and can be used to influence our decisions without our even realizing it. For example, a product may be marketed as 90% fat-free rather than 10% fat, even though the two statements are equivalent. The first framing emphasizes the positive aspect of the product, while the second framing emphasizes the negative aspect. To illustrate the impact of framing, Aureli presents several experiments. In one study, Participants were presented with a hypothetical disease outbreak and asked to choose between two treatment options. Option A, which had a 70% chance of saving lives, and Option B, which had a 30% chance of saving lives. When the options were framed in terms of how many lives would be lost rather than how many lives would be saved, participants were more likely to choose Option A. Aureli also discusses how framing can be used to manipulate our choices and behaviors. For example, he describes an experiment in which participants were asked to choose between two types of music CDs. A popular CD for $14.99 and an unknown CD for $12.99. When a third option was introduced, a popular CD for $12.99, participants were more likely to choose the unknown CD, even though it was more expensive than the popular CD. To avoid being swayed by framing, Aureli suggests that we be aware of the way in which information is presented to us, and actively seek out alternative perspectives and opinions. He also suggests that we take the time to evaluate our decisions objectively and weigh the pros and cons of each option, rather than simply reacting to the way in which the information is framed. 5. Make use of commitment devices. The author discusses the concept of commitment devices and how they can be used to help us overcome our self-control problems. Commitment devices are strategies or tools that we can use to limit our own future choices and actions, in order to help us achieve our long-term goals. Aureli argues that commitment devices can be particularly useful for overcoming our tendency towards procrastination and impulsivity. For example, we may set a deadline for completing a task, or enlist the help of a friend to hold us accountable for our actions. To illustrate the power of commitment devices, Aureli presents several experiments. In one study, Participants were asked to choose between two rewards. A smaller reward that they could receive immediately, or a larger reward that they could receive at a later time. When participants were given the option to pre-commit to receiving the larger reward, by making a choice in advance and having the reward delivered automatically at a later time, they were more likely to choose the larger reward. Aureli also discusses how commitment devices can be used in a variety of settings, such as dieting, saving money, and quitting smoking. For example, Someone trying to quit smoking may use a commitment device by putting a large sum of money in a savings account that they will forfeit if they start smoking again. To make use of commitment devices, Aureli suggests that we first identify our long-term goals and the obstacles that are preventing us from achieving them. We can then create a commitment device that limits our future choices and actions in a way that helps us overcome these obstacles. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the content and found it valuable. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more great videos in the future. See you in the next one.